channel I'm Ashley and today I'm gonna be doing this very subtle makeup look for you guys I'm gonna be using one of my favorite MUA's makeup palette today I'm gonna be using two different palettes but one of them is literally my favorite MUA's makeup palette so I am gonna be using that palette today and I love this look because it's perfect for a date night, brunch, literally anything because it's so glowy but yet so subtle. So yeah guys, if you guys are interested in knowing how I achieve this look, please keep on watching. For foundation, I am going to be using the Estee Lauder du Double Wear Foundation. The foundation that I'm going to be using is in the shade Sand. And I am going to be using this one today that I wish I had. Was a, it's a pump. I really like um, foundations with pump just because I feel like they're easier to apply and um, that way I guess you can like manage how much product you want and that's like the only thing that I wish this foundation had because the coverage is there, everything is there for the foundation um, but I just hate having to pour it onto my um, hand and so I'm just gonna buff it out and when you're buffing out foundation don't like drag the foundation because then it just sinks everything into the beauty blender and that's not or the beauty sponge whatever you guys want to call it and that's not what we want to do you just have to like tap it um just tap it and wait till everything is blended out so after I applied my foundation, the next step is going to be concealer and the concealer that I'm going to be using today is um, the Born This Way Too Faced um, Super Coverage Concealer. Um, I've actually just tried this concealer out and, every, and I've heard like a lot of people saying that it's really good, that it's like mm, it's full coverage but it still looks natural. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to try. And the shade that I got is in Nude. I've used it a couple times already. And I have actually have been um, liking the concealer. I like the coverage. I like how it sets and everything. Um, so yeah, this is the concealer that I'm going to be using today. And um, this makeup look is supposed to be like a... Um, a natural... Um, natural look but um it still requires a lot of makeup but it looks like really simple and like something that you could wear like on an everyday which i guess that's why um they say it's a soft glam because you can wear it every day but either way like you're still going to be doing like a lot of stuff some makeup and all that i'm just going to be concealing where I usually conceal and I'm gonna drag my concealer a little bit further this time because this is like a really um so for like the soft glam look you do have to still look full coverage and you still need to look very awake which is why I dragged out the concealer and I'm just gonna go back into the Morphe beauty beauty blender and just buff this out so now that I'm done with the concealer, I am going to go ahead and just bronze up my face. So that I'm going to be using today is this one, the Cover FX. Um, I got this in my BoxyCharm. It's a Cover FX Perfector Face Palette um, in light medium. So I am going to be using the um, contour that comes in here, which is this one up here. That's the one that I'm going to be using to contour my face today. And I am contouring where I would normally contour in my face. Nothing changes about the contour. Because for this soft glam look, you really have to look like you really tried to contour. But yeah, I just keep it where I normally would contour anyways. What I like to contour is I usually just make this motions, tap motions, or circular motions. Um, depending on um, depending on how I just want it to look. 
So right now I'm just doing the tapping motion so we can really get that contour in. And then I'm swiping it to buff it out. After contour, um, I like to go in with um, translucent powder. Um, the translucent powder that I am going to be using today is the Anastasia Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I literally got this like a couple days ago. I used it once and I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. So I was like, yeah, I need to get it. I was slacking in getting it because I've been wanting it for the longest. But didn't. I don't know why I didn't get it. The only thing that I will say about the powder is that the little holes that the powder comes out of, you really need to like go ham. You really need to go ham for the the powder to come out. But I guess that's okay. I really don't mind it. But yeah, just heads up. I am going to be using the loose powder um, under my cheekbones just to define that and clean up the contour that I did there. I got a little bit on my ear, but that's okay. And I like to bring it down to the corner of my lip just so it looks more snatched, <laughs> which is the reason why I like to do that. And when I do the nose contour, I like to use the smaller brush, the smaller sponge, just because I like to really define it and make a straight line. So the palette that I am going to be using for this soft glam is the soft glam palette from Anastasia. This is a palette that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using two palettes, but this is the main palette that I'm going that I'm going to be using into the crease first. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe M506 brush for the crease. And the color that I'm going to go into is burnt orange. I'm going to use burnt orange just because I've used burnt orange for subtle looks. And I like how it looks. So yeah. I'm just going to define the crease with this and just do this all over my crease with it and just kind of wing it out at the end. Just wing it out a little bit at the end. This um, soft glam look, I am going to be going a little bit over my crease and winging, winging it out only because um, I've been actually really loving how they've been doing this new soft glam. You actually go into your nose. So yeah, you bring the cut crease into your nose and everything just looks like super um, put together at the end. So if you look crazy at the beginning, it's okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm literally going super close to my brows and just buffing everything out. And then like whatever's left, I just bring it up. And to buff it out a little bit more, I'm going to be using the Morphe M503 brush just to buff it out a little bit. And it's okay if you feel like the color or the shade goes over your eyebrow, it's totally okay. For the outer corner, I am going to go in with the NARS Naked 2 palette brush. I actually really like this brush. And I'm going to go into the color Cyrus, Cyrus Umber. Yeah, Cyrus Umber, just to deepen a little bit the outer corner. 
you're really just going to be using a little bit because we don't want it to get a little bit too dark over there because like I said this still is a very very soft um soft look and just to make sure that both of the colors are blended together nicely I'm just gonna go back into the Morphe M503 brush and just blend everything out together what hello what is the door open no why can you open it i'm outside oh my bad mm -hmm. bye bye The next palette that I'm going to go into is the Daisy Marquez palette. I'm going to go into the white shade that's in here because um, this natural look is still very like making you look like awake and stuff. So I do want like a bold white shade in there and it's actually um, really creamy. So we're going to be using the white shade in there only to like shade in the inner corner and to make it a cut crease. Um, but also to carve out the cut, the cut crease. We're not going to use concealer or anything. And the shade is called Icy. We are going to go um, a little bit higher than the normal cut crease. And I'm going to go back into the Morphe 503 brush that we were using to blend, just to blend a little bit more. So we're already done with one eye. This is literally the whole one eye except the... So since we've already finished with one eye, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and take off my... Um, translucent powder because it's gonna start looking kind of crazy if I don't. The next step that I am going to be doing is highlight and the highlight that I'm going to be using is in the Ofra Glow Signature Highlight Palette. It comes with different highlights in it and they're actually really nice so you can see them. Um, they're really shimmery. I have swatched them already on my Instagram so you can um, so if you guys saw you guys know that these highlights are really pigmented and the highlight that I'm going to be using today is blissful because it is a really neutral shade it's like the most subtle highlight in the in the palette and then I'm just going to go at the highest points of my cheeks oh so yeah you can see that the highlight looks amazing. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what I used for my eyebrows. What I used for my eyebrows today is the ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade Dark Brown. I've been loving this product ever since I bought it. Like, I literally can't stop using it. It makes your eyebrows look super, like, natural but still there. So... That's why I've just been loving this product. And I've also topped it off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is really good. It makes your brows stick in their form. So, really good duo. And um, for lashes today, I am going to be using... And for lashes today, I am going to be using the House of Lashes in the... I'm not sure which lashes these are, but they're from House of Lashes, and they're the Sephora collection. They're a really nice pair. Um, they're not too um, dramatic, but not too soft either, but um, they look just like this, so I really love these. They look really nice, and I love House of Lashes because they're easy to just put on. I'm going to be putting off on the lashes off camera. The setting spray that I'm going to be using today is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this. Um, I love this setting spray because it comes out 
super nice like you don't have to keep on pressing it and it's like a hairspray i guess yeah because it looks like a hairspray bottle but yeah this is the one that i'm going to be using today okay so i'm lying that's not the last step um the last step is going to be my lips and the lips the lips what i'm going to be doing to them is i'm going to be doing like a nude lip but with brown liner on them after my lips are lined i am going to be using the stila cosmetics stay all day liquid lipstick in angelo so i actually think that this nude might be a little bit too nude for me so i am going to go in with the buxom plum lip plumping cream in the shade white russian Okay, hopefully this makes it a little bit better because I... As part of the initiation. Yeah, this is not it. Okay, so I did put the gloss on it and I think... Um, I think it does look better with the gloss, so I'm just going to keep it on like that. Okay, guys, so this does complete the makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment down below just telling me what you guys thought of this makeup look. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.